Hey guys, so we have the information, the full information, the full translations, everything for the upcoming LR Goku Ultra Instinct, as well as the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, as well as the two banner units that are coming onto these banners as well for the sixth anniversary of Dokkan Battle on JP. So here we go. Um, the revival skill mechanic is also included here. Um, they actually, what they did was these units have both active skills and revival skills. So what they did was they actually put the conditions to get the, the revival skills in the passives. So it's sort of like how they did the traditional transformation mechanics where it's like, you know, once conditions are met, blah, 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 but that's listed in the passive. Um, these are similar, except it actually has the conditions not separately. They are in the passive. Um, and just, you know, another um, sort of note before we get started here is that um, the... Uh, revival skill mechanic is still very new. We don't really know much about it yet. So the wording might not be up to par on these translations. I literally tr translated them very literally. So this is exactly what it says in the passive. This is the word for word what it says. And one, one other tidbit we learned about the revival skill mechanic that I didn't put in the translations, but this is just how they work. They can only activate once per battle and it resets when you return back to the map. So for instance, if you're in a sort of battle road and you get a revival skill activated in one of the fights and you beat the fight, the next fight you can activate it again so um it's sort of like you know once per battle and that's to make it from uh, becoming way too overpowered because if you had six units that have revival skills and you you can revive six times you have six lives that just gets out of hand so here we go we have true instinct gulch goku oh i can't speak true instinct goku ultra instinct leader skill is miraculous awakening or representatives of universe seven category key plus three hp tag and defense plus 170 percent I don't know what this is going to be. Miraculous Awakening. Literally, word for, that's like the literal translation of what this category is. Um, maybe it's like a first awakened category, but um, Evolution Blue Vegeta, I think, also does have this category as well. So we're not really sure what this is yet. I'm sure by the time this video goes live, we'll have a listing of what the category actually is. So uh, maybe you guys can check that out on Twitter or something. All right, so the first super attack is the 12 key. Completed Instinct causes colossal damage and gains a high chance to perform a critical hit for one turn. That is ridiculous because, <laughs> like, if you get additionals and stuff, that's gonna that's gonna like keep this effect because it's for one turn. So, to be honest, getting a high chance to crit for one turn from any super attack because it's also on the 18 key as well, but it's you know the same exact thing except it's mega colossal damage instead of colossal damage. Um, it's probably gonna make it so that this guy doesn't even care about crits from the potential system. You probably want to go full additional on this guy. Um, he, I mean, this is like probably the best possible super attack effect we've ever seen um you know critical hit besides maybe like massively raising attack and defense for one turn that's like in contention for as good as this this is honestly probably better than that you gain a 50 percent chance to crit from the super attack effect that's ridiculous passive is power entrusted from allies attack and defense plus 150 percent great chance to evade enemy attacks uh just just forever so you know we have the existing lr str ui goku and um, this guy just has th this forever, while the SRU I Goku is only limited to a certain amount of turns from the start of battle. So for the whole battle, he has a 70% chance to dodge. Key plus one for each attack evaded, max of key plus five. So that also is sort of built into um, the SRU I Goku's kit that we already have. It's sort of taken from there. Then he gains an additional defense plus 30% during the turn where an attack is evaded. So that is actually um, a book out of Whis a little bit, because remember, this is in the middle of the turn so the calculation is being multiplied into the start of turn boost which is going to make it some more the actual 30 percent it's a lot higher than that um then he gets a medium chance to perform an additional super attack and then when this is this is for basically from here on this is the revival skill when hp is 50 percent or below and this character has received three or more attacks during the battle so he actually has to get hit three times i believe um survive an attack that would have otherwise KO'd you or an ally attacking in the same turn. So it doesn't have to be this character. It could be an ally on the turn where this guy is on rotation and revive at 70% HP at the start of the next attacking turn where this unit is present. So this is literally a word for word what the Japanese says in the passive. We'll have to see how it plays out in battle for you to really understand how it works because looking at this, me, myself, I don't completely understand this, uh, but this is literally the, the exact wording it, it says. Um, then he also has an active skill. It's called Flash of Anger. This is the punch he used against Jiren, you know, when he's like screaming and stuff. Conditions are able to be used from the fourth turn from the start of battle, and HP is 50% or above, so it's pretty easy. He greatly raises attacks temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Links are coming out, shocking speed, over in a flash, godly power, turn of power, fierce battle, legendary power, and categories, realm of gods, universe, rival saga, pure saiyans, representatives of universe 7, Goku's family coming out of turtle school, miraculous awakening, and restorative power, which we'll see in a second, is the evolution blue Vegeta's leader skill. 
All right, Evolution Blue Vegeta's leader skill. By the way, this guy is obviously AGL, and then Evolution Blue Vegeta is actually int. So True Warrior Race, Super Saiyan God, SS Evolved Vegeta. Leader skill is restorative power, or representatives of Universe 7, Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack is the pride of the warrior race, causes colossal damage, and gains a high chance to perform a critical hit for one turn. So the same exact um, super attack effects as UI Goku um, on both 12 and 18 key. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, his passive is kind of similar, but a little bit different. So he also gets attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. He reduces damage received by 10% baseline. And then he gets an additional 10% damage reduction for each attack received during the turn. So that does go away at the end of the turn. It doesn't, it doesn't carry over. So if he gets attacked three times, he's getting up to 30% damage reduction. It's kind of like how Super 17 works, the EZA Super 17, except it's only for the turn. Um, and then it will, it will reset the next time he comes onto rotation. So he can have a maximum of 40% damage reduction going, you know, in addition to the baseline. That's pretty good, considering else was 150% defense right there. Then he gets key plus one for each attack performed up to five. And he also gets a medium chance to perform an additional super attack. And then he has the same, I guess, sort of thing as um, the Goku in terms of the revival mechanic. The only difference is that he has to receive seven or more attacks. And the reason why Goku's condition is, is, is better is because Goku has the great chance to dodge. So it's actually probably going to be easier to get this Vegeta's revival mechanic than Goku. Then he also has an active skill, Final Explosion. Um, able to be used in the fourth turn uh, when HP is returned above. So the same exact conditions as Goku. This causes Mega Colossal to all enemies. So it is an AoE. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, links are Godly Power, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Prayer for Battle, Turner of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And then he has a bunch of different categories, including um, Goku's new category, Miraculous Awakening, and obviously his own category, Restorative Power. So a lot of teams to run this guy on. Next, we have the Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo unit. And uh, this is the unit that awakens from that Ultimate Gohan SSR art we saw on the banners, the, the, the um, leaked quote-unquote banner arts. Unbreakable Bond of Master and Disciple. Leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack is the Special Beam Cannon and Coming Out. I didn't have time to do the quotes, so we'll just delete that. Um, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance to perform a critical hit. So keep, keep in mind, this is not the same effect as the other units that we just saw as Goku and Vegeta. This is on super attack. It has a medium chance to perform a critical hit. These up here are on super attack as well, but they also last for the turn. So again, if you get any additional attacks, you know, including this right here, those effects carry over um, to those other attacks. So even additionals, like norm normal uh, additionals also have that on them, but this one is a medium chance on the super attack itself. Passive is highest tension in history. Attack and defense plus 20% at the start of every turn. Max of 80%. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 120% when launching super attack and great chance to stun the attacked enemy. Perform a critical hit if the target enemy is in the stun status and disables enemy's guard and... Um, I don't know why there's a thing there. And uh, representatives of Universe 7 category allies get key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 20% if there is a representative of Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. So... This, um, well, let me, let me see. This, uh, no, from here on, this all depends on there being a representative of Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn, from what it appears to me in the uh, passive. Links are Cold Judgment, Brainiac, Solid Support, Coming Out, Speedy Retribution, which I don't know why they gave them that, Turn of Power, and Fierce Battle. And the categories are Battle of Wits, USS, Representatives of Universe 7, and Joint Forces. A lot of these units, by the way, are all, are all getting like solid support and stuff. Like solid support, turn of power, um, you know, Brainiacs a lot of them have as well. So pretty good that they got that. Um, then lastly, we have the Golden Frieza Angel and Ultimate Gohan. That's what it ended up being. A lot of people thought it was going to be 17, but uh, at the end of the day, it actually was Frieza and Ultimate Gohan. So Ultimate Gohan has two cards, I guess, sort of on here. Um, so this is Survival Risking Team Up, Golden Frieza Angel, and Ultimate Gohan. Leader skill is Battle of Wits category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack is the Laser Net Burst Rush, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals. Uh, the passive is Brains of Evil and Tactics of the Leader, attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack enemies attack and defense minus 30%. Great chance to guard against all attacks after launching super attack and representatives of Universe 7 category allies key plus 2 on attack and defense plus 20% if there is a representative of Universe 7 category ally attacking the same turn. So the same sort of thing here. Um, all of this supposedly um, 
is all dependent on there being a, a representative zero to seven category ally in the same turn. Links again, very similar links. You know, Brainiacs. We have Cold Judgment. We have Speed of Retribution. We have Turn of Power, Fierce Battle. So these guys actually link up very well with the units we just looked at up here. Um, and then categories obviously are Universe Survival Saga, Representative Zero Universe Seven, Joint Forces, and Battle of Wits. That is it. A very quick video, but I wanted to make sure all the information was laid out here for you very clearly. This is it. The um, live stream will be later today. I will be doing a complete breakdown about that. I'll be live translating over on the 5.9 Twitch channel. Make sure you check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.